Good morning, everyone. My name is Derek Surratt. Today we'll be talking about partnering with current contract holders, current people that's already performing work in the federal space, and also partnering with uh, prime contractors. Today we're going to start in GSA e Library. We're going to talk. We're going to pull information from GSA e Library, uh, FPDS, SAMS, U.S. Spending, and we're going to dab into USAGE contractor database. I'm going to also show you some of my partnerships that I have already in place with current prime biz, uh, vendors already doing work in the federal space. The reason I'm hyping on and emphasizing on prime vendors or people that's already in the federal space is because you don't want to be that one <laughs> to get a job and rely on somebody that's used to doing work in the private sector, municipal sector, never done work in the federal space. And then once you get a job, uh, once you get in the field, you find out you got to replace them. That happened to me. Uh, long story short, I did a project when I first started and it was a roofing project, man. And uh, <laughs> the guys didn't have the proper people on site. So I had to, I had to go into overdrive and find somebody that was already vetted and proper to get the job done and completed. So you don't want to be that person. So now when I look for partnerships and relationships within this space, I look for people that's already doing business in the federal space. So uh, let's take a look at GSA. Let's go to GSA and start there. GSA e library. Once you click on the GSA, G, GSA e library and it takes you to their contractor directory page, all of these categories are specific NICS code. So if you are into facilities maintenance and repairs, facility service solutions, facility supplies, and things like that, click on the tab. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to click on one to kind of use these guys as a reference. Doesn't really matter which one we use. So let's see if I can get myself out of the way of the screen. Hold on. Okay, so what am I looking for? This information on the left hand side are the contractors that's already doing business in the space. These guys already have a GSA schedule. A GSA schedule is pretty complicated to get. So they let me know they're doing work already in the space. Okay, this is their contract number right here in the middle. This is their phone number right here. This is their city and state. What I found from end users, end users really enjoy working with local talent. So let's just say hypothetically, if I'm going after a project in Alaska, then I'm going to look for people to partner with a subcontract with that's in Alaska. Those are the people that I'm going to look for. Somebody that's in close proximity that would it wouldn't take that much time, money, and effort to scale, so that it would also minimize the cost. Over here in the socioeconomic uh, status, you will see that this person right here for Alpha Era LLC is a small business and a disabled veteran. For some odd reason, it doesn't show their price list, contractor price list, and view catalog information. Uh, right below it, you will see service, I mean, small business. Uh, disadvantage, 8A, hub zone, 8A small business. All of these are set aside information. O stands for other than. You can also find that information. Let's see, right here. This will break down all the different acronyms so you get a better understanding of what I'm trying to say. Small business, other than, woman owned. Woman-owned small business, and like so. Okay, so let's go back to the information. The way I do it, I really like to participate and try to partner with other than small business because then I know for a fact that my offerings, which is service disabled veteran, hub zone, well, rephrase, service disabled veteran, 8A, veteran-owned small business, total small business, I can bring these guys into my space 
so they can compete. Right now, they can only compete in their unrestricted other than small business space. They can't compete in the total small business space. So when you come to these guys, you are bringing value to them. Let's click on this offer and see what they have to offer. Uh, AAA Complete Building Services. Um, I'll take a look at these guys, see what they got to offer. This is their information. Scroll down. Warranty terms. This is their cost. This is what they're telling you. Well, rephrase. This is the cost that they provide to the GSA. Uh, when you reach out to them, you can negotiate a price. Maybe some people negotiate, some people don't. But this is this this will give you a start before you make that phone call. And then the next thing I try to do is I would see how competent they are by looking them up. So then I will go to I will go to US spending. Okay. Keyword it. Put them in here. Commit your search. What do we have? Zero. So let me critique that search. Okay, here we go. We got some information. I need to figure out how to hide this thing. Okay. Hide. I will start with what am I looking for? A period of performance. Give me an idea of how long they have been playing in this space. So this company has been playing in this space since 2006. Um, their last contract was October 27, 2023. And it expires 2024. You will see that they're obligated Obligations to date is 461,000. Let me minimize this screen so I can function better. You can also scroll over to the right. Kind of get an idea of what that scope of work encompasses. Okay, World War II Memorial. If you want to find out more information about it, you can click on the contract. It's like a Department of Interior contract. Let's see, or GSA. Department of Interior, you could tell by the DODAC information right here. 140P3. Okay. You can also go down and see if this company right here has a subcontracting plan under additional details. So they have a commercial subcontracting plan. So it would be very beneficial to reach out to a company like this because they have to participate according to the SBA subcontracting rules to where, okay, now your set of sides looks very marketable to them. Competition details. This right here was a full and open competition, which means that, you know, they had to play in a larger pool. What is their next code? Next code, next code, next code. I'm just curious. Where is it? Where can I find that information right here? Acquisition details. Next code is 561210 facility support services. Okay. So this is one way to find partners. You know, these are the people that's already doing business in the space, and it really doesn't matter what the next code is. If somebody is selling a toothbrush, well, let's see what we can find on eLibrary. Who's selling toothbrushes? I'm just curious. I never tried to sell a toothbrush. Somebody here is selling it. Okay, toothbrush. Hit search. Okay. 
industrial products and services uh, let's click on this and see who's selling toothbrushes okay these guys right here they're selling toothbrushes well these are tools hardware hardware and tools my apologies i clicked the wrong one um Kimco Industries, they are selling toothbrushes. There we go. They're selling Colgate. One source, $105 a quart. That's a lot of money for some toothbrushes. But they're selling it, and guess what? The government buy toothbrushes. The government buy paper clips. The government buys... Man, you name it. Um, we are the small businesses, businesses in general. We are the Walmarts, the Home Depots, the Targets to the federal government. So if they have a need, they're going to reach out to a small business to provide that service or that need. And, you know, if the government has, well, not not if, just, I'm just going to use a trillion, a trillion dollars to spend and the subcontracting uh, portion of that may be 23%. So that's $230 million that the government has to spend in the minority disadvantaged space. So it's a lot of room for everybody to play and participate. And the better your relationships are, the more partnerships you have, the ability to scale the capacity the better you are setting yourself apart to compete in this space. So we talked about U.S. spending. We talked about GSAE library. I did not mention FBDS. You can also use FBDS to find subcontractors and information. So let's take a look at FBDS and let's see. What did I have in here? Uh, AAA. Let's see if we can find AAA. AAA Building Services Incorporated. Boom. Okay. Once again, these are the tools and resources that's available to anybody that want to participate in this space. All you have to do is go to the website, learn how to navigate it and play with it. Uh, these, this is the same company that we found out their company information on U.S. spending. Uh, if you wanted to find a construction company and you really don't have a name for the construction company, but you have a Nix code, type in whatever that Nix code is. The Nix code that pops in my mind is 236220. Then it's going to bring you up a plethora of different construction companies that has been participating. If you want to advance that search, okay. Uh, how do I do it? How do I want to do it? You can go over to the side, to the to the to the right hand side, and advance the search by relevance. You could well. Let me zoom in so you can see this. Okay. So you could track your possible partnerships or subcontractors depending on the departments that you're trying to procure opportunities with. It can be Department of Defense. So let's click on Department of Defense. Okay, these guys right here that populated, they have been doing work with the Department of Defense. If you want to find subcontractors and possible partners for the Navy, how many people is popping up? Okay, you got 14, no, rephrase, 143,382 contractors that's participating in this space. So, okay, let me zoom. This is too big. Okay. You could go through, click on it, click on the business name. Okay, when you click on the business name, it's going to bring up a ton of information about that business. It will show you how active that company is. Uh, you see this company right here has a plethora of projects under their belt. These guys are pretty busy. I might have to keep their information for myself. Okay, so... FBDS, navigate it, play with it, learn how to use it. It's an explosive tool. I highly suggest it. Okay. 
Let's get out of that and go to Sam. Okay. This is where you will find your current opportunities. Anything active, anything pending. You know, I did a video on Sam. You can navigate it. But today, the purpose of Sam is I want to look at active and inactive notice types uh, wards. Okay. Once again, I can put in the keyword uh, demolition. And it'll bring up all the different projects that's been awarded under that category building demolition it was awarded to ci contractors incorporated okay um if you're into explosives and and explosive supplies you know you can call omni distribution if you are into commercial roofing roofing okay these guys have roofing projects awarded to them. Granite Group LLC, JB Contracting. Once you find this information, once again, you can reverse engineer it. Take this information, go back to FBDS or US spending, and see how active they are. Okay, this is another group that's pretty active. They got 10 pages of awards. It's another subcontractor you can add to your roller decks or your subcontractor list. Okay. If you are, let's see, I wish I had somebody on here right now uh, to tell me what they're looking for. So if you're looking for, okay, scientific stuff, let's see, cryo. Okay. Well. Fisher Scientific Company, I think on one of the previous videos in GSA, I think the one I posted yesterday, uh, one of the vendors was Fisher Scientific and I went to their website and you could go in and register as a vendor and build a relationship with them. But all of these are companies that you could possibly build a relationship with and Create a joint venture, create a mentor protege, create a team and arrangement, create a prime subcontractor relationship. All of these are different tools. I tell people that this, this is crazy what I'm about to say. I tell people that federal contracting is not similar, but it's just like parenting. Everybody have their own parenting style. Everybody is it's no real blueprint to parenting. There's not a one shoe fit all is not a hundred percent right way and it's going to work you know federal contracting is about understanding it's about your niche it's about how the screens and the wires inside your mind click to you know your customers in the industry there's so many different ways to go about doing it i would suggest like somebody told me Derek, you have to find your niche you have to find that one niche that you do well and find that one person that needs your niche and then you will be uh, set apart in this industry. So I challenge you to find your niche, um, find that person looking for you and learn, learn. You're going to learn. I promise you this right here, this tool right here, Sam.gov and FBDS, U.S. spending. Uh, what did I hit? Uh, GSA library. All of that information is just going to set yourself apart from just regular people just trying to do a simplified way of contracting a lot of people don't like to read and research uh, i have one more thing i want to show you because not only is this information on uh fbds u.s spending sams certain entities would have directories for um They're prime vendors. They would have relationship with prime vend vendors that already have established mentor protege processes that going on with the Air Force, Army, Navy, and things like that. So I'm going to show you one that I came across with just with usage. 
Okay. Okay. The core engineers have a contractor database. Okay. They have a contractor partnering opportunities tab on their web page. Uh, usagearmy.mil, business, business with usage, small business, usage contractor database. Okay. You can register your company on this website. Okay. Click here for your invitation. Or you could. Okay, let's see if it allow me to show you the contractor database. It's not going to allow me to show you this spreadsheet right now. Let's see. No. It won't allow me to do it. But no, it's not going to allow me to do it. Okay. You can go to usage.mil and download their contractor database, and then that'll be a whole That'll be a whole nother realm of opportunities or people that you could partner with. Um, I did say I'm going to show you a few different partnerships that I currently have at the moment, and I'll do that. So stand by. Let me get going. OK, so. We currently have a partnership with Momar. Momar has a GSA schedule, and I'll show you what that GSA schedule is. Uh, Momar provides a plethora of things. I can't even, I can't even go into all the things that Momar provides, but they are a chemical manufacturer located in um, Atlanta, Georgia, and they uh, provide a ton of stuff. So I'm just going to show you. So if you guys are a customer or if you just need to buy something for yourself, I would say, hey, go check out Momar because they buy, they sell tools, they sell de-icers. If you have grease traps, lift stations, and your stuff just keep getting clogged up. Well, guess what? Momar have chemicals that will emulsify those uh, lift stations and grease traps, and all of those chemicals are green. So let's go to Momar Incorporated and see what they have. And then I'll kind of take you over to their offers and offerings on their page. Momar Incorporated. Okay. Oh, tactical survival specialties. Let's do this one. Okay. Where are we? I'm just going to click on this category for right now. We're going to go down to Momar. Okay. It's not populating like I want to. So let's view the catalog. Okay. So, Momar sell a ton of stuff, but I'm only going to hit on this first page because I could be here all day with some of the things they sell uh, within the set aside range. If you guys need to procure these items under the veteran owned small business, service disabled veteran, 8A, um, we also have a joint venture that would be able to utilize the disadvantaged woman on the hub zone well momar has provided us with that letter of supply and has get, given us the green light to sell and pro procure these pro these products for the end user to kind of simplify that contracting uh process so like i say their catalog is huge they have a ton of stuff and they have a ton of green stuff very cost efficient and they really value the current relationships that they have with the end user. I have another uh, partnership with Juniper, you know, Juniper provides a ton of projects. I mean, ton of products, products and solutions with IT networking, service providers, cloud operators, security, software, SaaS, product solutions. So, if you were to go to and look for a partner, let's see, find a partner. Let's see where we are. Now, I'm showing you guys all of this because just like DV Solutions went in and set up relationships with these different prime contractors and providers, 
you guys can do the same. Search results. DV Solutions LLC. Hey, that's us. So if you need Juniper products, reach out to us. We can help you out. Okay. If you, if you are trying to get into the IT world and you don't know how to do it, hey, a good partner would be Ingram Micro, you know, or also Carisoft. We're also at Ingram Micro and Carisoft and Dell Distributors. So it's this thing called TAA compliance. So when you are purchasing IT products, you have to go through. It's only a few vendors. You have Ingram Micro, Carisoft, and it's another one. I can't really think of that name right now at the moment. But you can build a partnership with them. You can become a reseller with Ingram Micro, Dell, Carisoft, uh, a ton of different people. Uh, well, not really a ton of different people, but you kind of get my drift. If you become a partner with them, then they would help you get certified with Zebra, with all these other manufacturer IT providers and things like that. So it's a lot of power in partnerships. It's a lot of power in gaining knowledge, knowledge, access to these uh, to this information. And I really hope this helps someone. And I hope this bless you guys on your journey throughout this contract process. Remember, check out team and arrangements, joint ventures, mentor proteges. All of this information could be found on SBA.com. I mean, SBA.gov. Uh, contract assistant programs. It'll break down all of this different stuff for you. Uh, it'll tell you how to get registered and best wishes. Go ahead and leave me a message at the bottom. Write me a question so I can do some research and try to find those answers for you. Best wishes to you all. Oh, one more thing. Uh, my sweater, my sweater. I got to give props to all wrapped up. They provided this sweater for me and my wife. You know, it's, it's, it's an awesome platform. So before I go, I want to also share that platform with you guys. So all, if you like it, check it out. You know, this is the point of contact that you can find this sweater. You know, got on my armor, my salvation, my sword, and here it is all wrapped up my shopify.com she have a ton of gear on here check it out she provide earrings a lot of other different stuff all right guys best wishes wish you guys the best hope y'all have a great day